yo what's up guys welcome back thank you so much for tuning in and i'm back again with another video so into in today's video we're going to be looking at this device right in here which is the iphone 13 pro max so basically ever since the iphone the iphone 13 pro max or the iphone 13 was released i think this is actually my first time interacting with the iphone 13 pro max so basically the one that i have here with me is the graphite one that's actually the color so the way it looks it looks like a bit of a space gray or black or a little bit of a bluish or silver but however this is what we actually call a graphite so basically when you look at this device it's not far off from the iphone 12 pro max so actually i'm gonna do a comparison video a quick comparison video between the two and we'll actually talk about the differences that actually these devices are having so when you actually look at the iphone 13 pro max basically the first thing that you actually see or notice is basically the size so the size is actually quite big and however it still has the same amount of a screen display as the iphone 12 pro max so but when you actually look at the physical appearance of the device when we look at the right hand side of uh, the phone we're actually finding the on and off button or the unlock or unlock button which basically what you use to turn your device on and off and basically what we used to see on the previous devices we used to find a sim card slot right at the bottom uh just a little bit further below from the power button which at this point on this device we no longer find it there and i'm going to explain that the reason is because some of the devices do come in with a 5g antenna and you must bear in mind that that is not available in all the countries so like where i'm based in south africa this device basically means that it doesn't support the 5g it doesn't mean that the iphone or the iphone 13 pro max or the iphone 13 do not have 5g the one that i have in particular it doesn't support the 5g because it doesn't have that 5g antenna so when we look on top of the device there's nothing else and basically when we move to the left hand side of the phone actually find the ordinary and the normal things that are actually available on the latest model of the iphone so which is basically the uh, mute and unmute button on top and then we find the volume up and the volume down which can actually customize it to perform different functions depending on what you are doing at the point in time and then below that that's where we actually find in a sim card slot so basically the sim card slot is actually moved from the right hand side to actually the left hand side of the device uh the device itself uh still looks pretty much good and then when we go to the bottom and obviously we're gonna find uh the speaker grill and obviously our well-known lightning connector to basically charge your phone or do your data transfer and when we look at the back we actually find in the apple logo which is basically a uh, station or placed in the middle of the device which is different from what you actually used to find on the device back in the days whereby the logo used to be up in here so this is something to bear in mind when you're actually able to differentiate your device and obviously the reason why that was done was actually to accommodate the camera the camera now they're taking a bigger space so it wasn't going to look cool to have the apple logo right next to the camera so they actually move it down this is actually the same setup setup same configuration that you find in on the iphone 12 pro max and basically we also find yes the camera which is placed right there and then we actually have in the uh the three camera setup obviously that's actually what you're going to use to identify whether the phone is a normal iphone 13 or iphone 13 mini and or also it's iphone pro or a pro max basically the difference between the pro and the pro max is basically the size you are going to get the three camera setup in terms of how the cameras are going to be looking so basically uh, we might as well just touch into the camera so the cameras it comes in with three uh 12 megapixel camera which is obviously the first 12 megapixel is going to be the wide lens and then the second one will be the telephoto and then the other one is going to be the ultra wide and obviously we all know now that iphone comes encompassed with the lidar sensor which is basically positioned right there and right next to it is a microphone to basically use when you are recording your audio or your video so that's actually the microphone right in there and right on top there you actually find in the uh flashlight which basically what you use if you're gonna uh shoot your video or images in the low light uh situation so right be, be behind the apple logo that's actually where you find in 
the MagSafe. So basically this phone is compatible with the MagSafe chargers. So you can basically buy a MagSafe case, which basically will allow you to charge the phone with a MagSafe charger, which is quite good. Uh, cause basically that's where most of the devices are going, where we're going to the world of wireless charging devices and you actually going to be free when you get this one. You won't actually have to go and get in other accessories except the MagSafe. However, still work with the lightning uh, charger. You can actually still use that to charge your phone. So this phone comes in with a, uh, 3,452 uh milliamps so that's actually the battery capacity so basically it means that the battery is quite a bit bigger than the previous generation and obviously it's gonna be able to last you for quite some time depending on how much you use the device so it's actually very very good so another thing that i would like us to look into is basically the screen so looking at the screen from this angle it's actually looking good uh basically looking at the screen to body ratio which is about 87 percent which is actually good because because this is a 6.7 super retina xdr display which actually supports 120 uh, gigahertz in terms of the refresh rate which is quite good because it's able to reach 1000 nits and it can actually pick up to 1200 nits this is actually very good if you are doing gaming or watching high definition video so basically this ties in back to the camera so this camera supports what we call apple prores uh i'm gonna do a video shooting uh apple progress so on this video i'm not gonna take any picture i'm just gonna do apple progress video and do some pictures which i'm gonna do it on a separate video it's not gonna be anything formal but i just want to show you how the apple progress look like i'm gonna try and do it outside so basically this screen uh works better to actually display those progress quality so that's something that you need to to bear in mind so looking at the internal specification this comes in with a 6 gig ram and the one that i have here with me has 512 gigabyte of storage so if you if you have iphone 13 128 gigs you will actually get the apple progress functionality in terms of taking those high definition video because they're gonna take your storage like snap of the fingers so you need to bear uh, in mind and however for you to actually set up that progress it's not on by default you're gonna have to turn it on and obviously there's gonna be some sort of like a information that actually tells you or warns you that the moment you turn this on your your storage will be taken uh as fast as possible because those videos will be taking so much space so basically that's it about the iphone uh 13 pro max uh don't know if i've forgotten anything but this is what we actually get on the iphone 13 pro max and obviously yes it still comes in with a uh, face id for your facial recognition uh basically you can enroll it to unlock your phone it doesn't come with any fingerprint sensor and it supports 12 megapixel front facing camera which you're able to actually shoot up to uh 60 frames per second in 4k and basically 120 uh frames per second in 1080p resolution comes with uh a 15 bionic chip basically that's the processor and also you can actually upgrade from ios 15 to ios 15.3 at this point i haven't actually upgraded it however it's actually due for an upgrade i just have to start setting it up and do all the updates and put in my application i'm going to be using this device for a couple of days doing those tests i'm not going to switch to this device uh as my main or my daily driver this is just going to be me testing it and i'll probably decide later but high chances i don't think i'm gonna switch on to this so let me know if there's anything that you'd like to know about the iphone 13 pro max and i will catch you on my next videos thank you so much for tuning in please be a cool person give this video a like and you can drop a comment on the comment section below and i really appreciate it. bye